Welcome, everybody, to uh, the pre-show for year-end 23, uh, the very much delayed year-end. This is probably the latest we've ever done it. Uh, now, yeah, uh, there's a good reason for that. Uh, I'm not going to get into it in the main main show, so I will talk say why we're so late this year. Basically, we were waiting on something. <laughs> That is now done. It is now ready. And it was something that was needed to go into the main show. So, now that that's ready, we can actually go into this. And by go into this, I mean kick off with the pre-show. And then we will actually enter into the main event. And go into year-end 23 historics from our home. Uh, from the channel's home. On the Inair World server at the Mountain Varial Center. <sighs> so, what is in store for year end? Well, a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's pretty usual. There's a lot of stuff getting that uh, has been getting worked on behind the scenes that you guys are going to learn about over the next little bit. Now, um, this is not really anything to go on in the pre-show. This year, usually we would go off of, um, uh, media week stuff, but, uh, we ain't gonna be, we didn't have really a media week this year, or it was more a media month, but, um, <laughs> as we are now in October. So, uh, with that, welcome to your end. And, uh, it is gonna be a action-packed year-end this year. There's a lot being talked about, a lot that we have been working on, and a lot of it will finally get to see the light of day. It's late, but, yeah. It's gonna be exciting. Stick with us through this, whoever knows how long it'll be. But, well, you guys will. But, with that, I think there's n no other uh, w other way of sending it. Let's go to year end and let's kick this off.
What is up in the army? I am GameNear5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome to year end 23. Welcome to year end 23 historics. This is our yearly fighting that we show that we round out our previous season, bring round in the new season. And tell you what is to come over the next season. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, the, the gist of it. So, over the course of this show, uh, over the course of this year's year end, you will see the Indian Army Awards uh, between... Uh, it used to be a pretty big thing. That's not really that big of a thing anymore, but then it's literally just two of us. But the Indian Army Awards, then you'll hear what uh, what we we're bringing to the table for our new season, and we will then round it out with the entrance into the new season with the unveiling of next year's year in 24 location. And, well what will be the next season. So without further ado, let's kick this into high gear. Welcome to year end 23. And um, our historic year, our 10th year making content comes to a close tonight or this afternoon, whenever this gets up, it will probably be late. <laughs> Anywho, our 10th year comes to an end tonight with year-end 23. 10 years ago, in 2013, we started this channel with, I think, very little expectations as to what this would turn into. And then, well, 10 years later, 100 subscribers... A lot more views than we ever would have expected. And, um, yeah. If it wasn't for this, I don't think I, me and I would have as much fun doing what we do. But, uh, it started as a big group. It is now just the two of us. And I think we can make the most out of that with this next year. It will be a fun year at that going into season 11. And um, we have a lot coming. It will be a lot of fun. And I hope you will stick with us as we evolve over this next year. So, next up, what we do with well. It is the awards. So we have to do a, little, a quite a little cut because uh, something we didn't think of when building, putting the stage together. Uh, well, that's I eyes pulled right there. <laughs> and you were, you all were, probably remember where mine is <laughs> because we have been here before. It's right there. <laughs> so. It's a little hard to get to. <laughs> so, we are going to do a quick break. I'm going to get something on that. And get something go we're going to get something going up to both of these. And we are going to get the awards handed out as we round out this season. So, let's uh, jump cut. Okay, so it is award time for year end 23 in season 10 from the Mountain Burial Center on our wonderful server. Now, as I said before, this as usually before when there was a lot of us, this was a bit more of a surprise. Now that there's two of us, it's at least less of a surprise because it's either me or I getting the awards. 
we are giving well that a the game of the season. Other than that one. <laughs> um we are actually going to start with that. I feel like it would not come as big as a that I don't think this one would be that big of a shock as to what our game of the season is for this uh, the coming out of season 10. And uh well, I'm just going to say it. It's the Tomb 3. I think that's a pretty darn obvious one. <laughs> it's pro probably the one we've played by far the most. And uh, I think I would probably agree with me on that one. And But this next year might be a bit of a toss-up because it can't be... I don't think... It, we might waive the rule, but I don't think we can name it two years in a row. So might waive it. We have other games that we're going to be starting this year. You'll find that out later. So. So. What else? Uh, who else? What else are there awards for? Well. There's the tournament champion of the year, which. Um, if you weren't what, paying attention. Well, um, it was the summer splatdown. Now, I've won that. The, 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 I think that was pretty darn obvious that I've won that. I think we've already announced that I've won it. But we have not done the final three rounds of the Summer Splatdown. And me and I have talked about this. And we have decided we are not going to do them. Mostly because, well, we got too busy in August. And just did not happen. So, we are going to be going into Season 2 of Versus. We will talk about that later on in the show. And, um, so, it doesn't really, it also didn't really, the final three mount rounds wouldn't have mattered anyway because I've won all, I think, five out of the six that we've played so far. So it's pretty. It's physically impossible for I to have to come back if if we played the final three. So yeah. Anywho, let's go put this on my. Let's go put this banner on my pillar. Now my pillar is really annoying to get to. <laughs> Then we thought, oh, it'll be fun. Let's put bubbles around the entire thing. It's not fun. <laughs> it was a bad idea. Don't ever put bubbles around something that you expect to be swimming in. <laughs> and it's not the fun bubbles. It's the bubbles that suck you down. So, uh, yeah. There's the tournament champion banner of the year. Woohoo! I won it! Woohoo! That's my first time ever winning the tournament that we uh, put on, even though we have only done it three times. So I will probably look to take that from me um, next season, next tournament, but uh, next summer, but uh, or maybe it won't be next summer. I don't know. Well, we're actually still thinking about that. Because next summer is already turning out to probably... It's already looking like it will be quite... Busy. So, might not do a tournament next summer. But we will probably still do a tournament in this next season. But might not be next summer. So, uh, that is still something we are currently looking into. And uh, I know we've... We've thought about it in the past to do. Oh, well, I've thought about it in the past doing a tournament during the um, Christmas season. Yeah, that would be really stupid. Being that we have the Christmas countdown, which takes pretty much all the focus during that time. Yeah. So yeah, let's just add add a a, a, die, a six round tournament in amongst that. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. No, no, maybe spring. Uh, probably spring, but maybe maybe a later month. That would probably be really stupid also. Anywho, sometime we will do a tournament this year. We just don't entirely know when yet. And, well, yeah. So, 
Moving on from that award, Tournament uh, Champion of the Year to... I have a list that I'm, decided, I'm trying to decide which one I want to go to next. We are going to funniest member. Who was the funniest member of this season? You would probably uh, not be able to. But yeah, this was hard <laughs> because um, for the little amount where she's ever in a video, it's a little hard to get even give her some awards. But uh, yeah, this one goes to I, funniest member of the year. Um, yeah, so. This is Eyes Ward, so let's find it. <laughs> there it is. That was quick. <laughs> let's go put this on her. Let's go put this on her pillar somewhere. I suck at this. I suck at ladders. Okay. Third time's the charm. <laughs> if we need to go back up there, I'll just put two more blocks. <laughs> and there we go. Right there. <laughs> Funniest member of the year. Yeah, I. Yep, that probably just uh, gave me some points <laughs> for that. <sighs> that was annoying. <laughs> okay. Moving on. It's. There we go. Get rid of this. So, next award, what we doing next? Well, it's the most dedicated member. I feel like this was probably obvious. It's me. <laughs> I think that was, uh, I don't even know why we have this as one. I don't even know which one it is. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've had to give these out that I uh, don't remember which one it is. I don't think it's this one. I think it's this one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think it's this one. We have them up in a, up in that a hallway, so... If I'm wrong, I'll check after the show, and if I'm wrong, I'll just update it and put the actual one up. But I know it's not the straight eye because that one is supposed to be on all these, but it isn't. So, yeah. Anywho, <laughs> let's put this on here. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> put it right there. There we go. That's good enough. I made a lot of bang. <laughs> well, that wasn't really a bang. It was a really loud splash. <laughs> okay, most dedicated is out of the way. And now we are going to uh, most active. Yeah, this is me also. I should have probably put a stage over there so uh, we could just um, keep going back and forth. <laughs> that was easy. I actually have this one named. Some I have named, some I don't. It's more easier when they're named. <laughs> Whee! Hmm. Let's put this one right there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now that that one's done, <laughs> we now move on to the next award, which I have no idea what it will be.
Um, next award we're giving out will be the most valued member, which is this one. Now, you would think this one would probably be me again. No, no, it's not. It's not. This is us. I was getting this one. <laughs> uh, let's go put it on on this thing. Ah! There we go. Wee! <laughs> I that there, but I just jumped up. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know why. Uh, what was the point in putting that there? <laughs> Okay, moving on from most val valued member to most valued streamer. We didn't do many streams this year. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking like we only, I think we only did like two. Yeah, that's something that we'll be changing over this year. <laughs> uh, we're planning on doing a lot more streams this year. I can't really promise Anything other than I'm gonna try. No, being that I'm the only one that streamed, this is me again. <laughs> so, uh, let's go put this on the pillar. And then we will then move back to the um, stage. There we go. <laughs> That's not one I really want to have shown. Been that I don't think it really matters. Been that we only get two. I pressed the base bar a little too much there. <laughs> okay. Put that in there again. And the next award. Is I'm just <laughs> I'm getting my uh, bearings. Which ones have we done? Uh, because I didn't go in order of <laughs> my list. Uh, let's go poster of the year. Which is the crazy one. <laughs> and, uh, well, this is me. <laughs> Over all of our social platforms, it's way too many to count that, um, I feel like I've posted over, like, a hundred posts this year. Because of, um, because of how m m active I've been. So, uh. Yep, but I think it's a very obvious one. I missed. Okie <laughs> dokie. And is that, no, is that it before the big award? I think it maybe. Uh, yup. Yep, big award. <laughs> now, this one, it's already up. I'm just gonna not put it up again. It's Gamer of the Year. This one's going to me. <laughs> it's like the biggest award we got uh, other than Gamer of the Year. And it's already on my pillar. So I just need to update the sign. So, uh, yeah. But besides the Saturday, um, yeah, it's going to need to take a little bit more than just this. Uh, because I can't remember all the times I've won. And I know it's not up to date. So, uh, this... 
is just going to go up on the stage behind us and I'm going to probably forget about it. <laughs> I should watch it, this video back. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so, awards are all taken care of. So what is the next course of action for year end this year? You might all be wondering. Well, it's time you know what's going on in this, what's coming from us this next season. So, without further ado, let's reset and let's go to the briefings. Let's go! To kick off our briefings this year, it is probably the lamest of them. <laughs> so, this is the United Group briefing of year end 23. We are going to go through what is happening over, well... Everything. So, I guess without further ado, let's just get into it. This, uh, this one I'd like the least ex excited to make the announcements of. So, <laughs> I, prob I probably shouldn't have said that, but eh, oh well. <laughs> Too late now. Anywho, uh, what is in store for this season? Or what is updates, I guess? Sort of. That's kind of what we're going for with this one. Yeah. So this is the big thing. Me and I. I think I've said, told I this. I'm not sure if I have. But um, starting off with kind of a sad thing. We are going to stop making new new series for the After Hours channel. It. If you know the channel, well, I feel like this won't come as a shock to you, being that we have not uploaded there in a, in a dog's ear. Uh, <laughs> that's a weird way of saying it. <laughs> like, the last time we... The last time we, um... Uh, uploaded... On the After Hours channel, as I was like quickly, uh, quickly, speedily get it up <laughs> to tell you was eight months ago. So, yeah, we've essentially stopped uploading, and the big thing at the bottom current series to either be canceled or finished. It's most likely gonna be canceled. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I know, uh, Jedi Fallen in order I want to complete, so, um, that, that will probably be the one and only series to be completed that is still kicking. So, yeah, After Hours is pretty much going by the wayside, it is joining Creepers as the, uh, farewell channels now. They're... There's always going to be there, but they will no longer be getting new series or uh, anything, for that matter. So, uh, moving on from this to this. We are going to put a lot more work into the Inator Extra channel. So, we're dropping after hours and putting all that work into Inator Extra. If you don't know what this one is, well... You're not missing much. We don't upload on this one all that often. But this is our... Whatever we don't want to upload here, goes there. And that's why After Hours is pretty much no longer needed. So, um... Time lapses of Lego builds. Anything like that. Things that shouldn't go up on here. They're gonna go up on extra. We have a Lego build ready to go. I've been meaning to build it. It will go up on there. It will no longer. They will no longer come up on this channel. So if you want to see stuff on that, go subscribe to Nader Extra as they are going to start getting a lot more content. 
then if we, uh, like when me and I made our mistake during uh, round, I think it was round two. <laughs> then we uh, started the round by doing the, uh, the wrong, wrong things. Yeah, that was upload to extra. It's still there. <laughs> it's fun. It's funny to go. If you want to go have some laughs, go watch that quickly. So that is there. We ow as a punch my mic. We are gonna fully support that going forward, and uh, more content will go onto that channel in the foreseeable future. So moving on from that to. If you don't didn't know, we have a website. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Innatorworld.com. It is our big our site that we forget about at many times. We are gonna give it a pretty much a complete and utter overhaul. So don't go to it for a while. <laughs> don't go check it out. It's it's outdated. <laughs> we started work on it. But it is uh, behind the eight ball, and it needs to get above the in front of the eight ball. If you want, like the idea for Near World originally was to uh, give updates on series, uh, projects, everything, and it never really became that. So we are going to give it a big rework. See if we actually really do need it. I think it will come in handy. For now, for going further in deep and in deep into detail for certain things, so uh, yeah, that will uh, go on throughout this year, and I have been, you guys will not hear about this until probably year end twenty four next summer. So, <laughs> because uh, our sites, uh, this is one of, I'm one to say, uh, it's one of three sites we we run. This one is now really very. Uh, this one at the and uh, the near world site is probably the most underused, and what well, the world one really needs to be used. Well, the servers. The servers one, the one that has IP to this place. Both those are very behind. Like that one, I don't even think actually has the IP to this anymore. So. Like, uh, yeah, everything's kind of behind now. So, it, nearworld.com to receive major rework. And we will give you updates with, as to when that is done. <laughs> I don't know when it will be done. So, uh, moving on. To this! So, we do have a merch store. We've talked about this in the past many times. Um, we are going to launch some new things into the shop with the new logo. Uh, that we just developed. It will be, they will be releasing probably over the next little bit. It, so, um, we, we will make an update on our social platforms when it comes, when the new stuff drops. We have some designs we're working on that will, f that we've been working on for quite a while and they will finally make it to the shop. So, new merch coming to near shop that keep an eye out. It's, it's some good stuff. So, uh, yeah, moving on. That's just pretty much it. I don't know why I had that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that is it for the near group briefing. And, um, yeah, so it's time for the next briefing. I can't remember which one it is. So, uh, yeah, that. let's go to the next briefing. <laughs> the next briefing is upon us, the servers. What is going on with the servers this uh, upcoming year? Well, that's a very good question. A lot. <laughs> I can already just say that. A lot is going to be happening over the servers this next year. So, let's just tell you. Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, no one cares. Now, 
If you didn't know, Innator Village has become Innator World MC. This is our new, this is where we are right this very instance. And uh, so a lot will be, a lot more is coming to this server. We are gonna be supporting this for, I think, many years to come. Even though I feel like it's starting to become that we're not supporting it that much, uh, we're still gonna support it. Sometimes the, uh, SMP server will take more response, take more, especially when we're in an event, which will be soon. We will talk about that. Well, you guys don't even really know what that is. <laughs> so, yeah, we will talk about that eventually. Later in the show, we'll talk about Nader Crafts event op system and yeah, which is about to go into full effect. So, what's going on with the native world? Let's bring it up. So, if you didn't know, these are the five cities in in their world. Well, the only one of the five is like not even really built. So, um, New Ash, Osiler, Fluve, and Atlantis are being are well, big built. Not really, but we have locations for all of them. So, uh, over the next little bit, it will become a lot more obvious as to which ones are getting worked on. But, um, something we, uh, I feel like I should have probably said this sooner, but, uh, something we've decided on for an air world is because we have so many cities, five, that it is hard to, um, work on everything at once. So, this year, we are going to pick a couple areas and strictly work on those areas and get those done probably within this year. If we don't, well, oh well, and we'll probably switch focus for the next year or continue focus. We'll see. But that is the game plan going forward for Near World, and I think it'll help us quite a bit to keep on the ball of everything and I've been dying to start building but I've been waiting for this to get done so so um yeah and this is why I should have I'm saying this now oh the city of hills of Silerville the Canadian city the big city that will be one of the uh, this was decided many a couple of years ago that Asylerville was going to get developed and we have come up with a brilliant plan. It is, it's named the city of Hills, even though it's more the city of waterways, but, um, Osylerville will be getting a lot of work this next year. The transport docks and the near district are going ver will be going vertical this next season. No, what does that mean? They will start getting built. <laughs> Those areas are already planned. We know where they are, and they will start getting built. What is in the near district? Well, uh, that one of these. <laughs> one of these places. So um. Yeah, we will have another burial center, but that one will be headquarters. That will be the big bar. That will be the main one. That transport docks, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> That'll be where the airport is. All the boats and stuff. The airport's already been planned. We just have been waiting to get underway with it. So, uh, Osylerville is going to get a lot of work this next year so look forward to getting updates on that if you want updates follow the near servers on uh social platforms it they're there every but they're in a lot of places so then um we have these towns <laughs> we have a ridiculous list of towns and yes i'm aware of that we have 12 towns officially in on the server not all these are even existing yet so far, hop, slide, well, hop and elephant, minigame, low ball, stardust. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest don't exist. 
Oh, Moosehead. Technically, it was. Same with Elephant. Ah, okay. Uh, not more than half. About half of these exist. <laughs> so, um... The same thing will go with these, but these will probably pick a couple of these to work on throughout the year. So, uh, which of these six, six, twelve, are going to be getting worked on this year? Well, let's tell you. No. Okay, I feel like I didn't have to click that. Yeah. Scar Township in the new Canadian, like, lag that we have that will meet up with this area, eventually, um, is gonna be going vertical. That is just beyond the city of Fluve, where it will be getting built. No, the Scar is a very interesting place. <laughs> we don't really know much about it. <laughs> yet but uh well yeah it'll be getting built this upcoming year and um that one i'm quite excited about i've been planning it for a very long time and it is finally gonna go vertical it's gonna be exciting so uh next wow well, okay not next but um that's pretty much it then but there is one more thing I have to share. We have finally found a spot for uh, the city of Atlantis. I said this, I think it was last year in that we said we were location scouting for it. Well, location scouting, no more. A location has been found. Let's bring up the, bring up a little teaser trailer. It's going in a jungle. A hilly jungle at that. Roll it! Our first, our first major announcement for an air world, Atlantis City, is a very hilly area and has a lot of trees, which for me does not mix. So it'll be very interesting to start building over there. I'm very excited to, and I think it will be a lot of fun. Now over the next little bit, uh, one thing before we actually even continue on. Before we even start with building this year, um, the roads are going to get put through to uh, Atlantis and Scar. Both of them don't have roads yet to them. Those will be put through this year so we can have somewhat of an idea. Well, Scar kind of needs to be, being that we need to know where it actually really is. So uh, those will ha that will happen this year and you guys will get updates when those roads are... Either laid out or paved. One of the two. As we do change our road system, that will take probably a little bit. Um, yeah, it's probably hard to tell that we are changing the road system. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> It'll look a lot better eventually. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's uh, end the server's briefing. 
And let's go to the next thing, which I can't remember what it is. Let's go! Next briefing, the custom network. Now, this one I don't think a lot of you know about. <laughs> because we're, we're kind of hush-hush about it. Well, we're not becoming less hush-hush about it. But, uh, yeah, custom network. If you don't know what this is, it's our custom sports leagues. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. It's custom sports leagues. This is something I run on pretty much my own time. Now, this also really nails back the point of me winning streamer of the year being that I technically stream pretty much every week, but just not on our lines. I do it on the custom network lines and I stream sports games, but I don't talk. <laughs> so, yeah, the custom network. What is changing with this? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> The one thing no one really knows about until we talk about it at this. So, yeah. Welcome to the Custom Network. Let's take a look at what's coming with the Custom Network this upcoming year. Now, one thing that was decided with the Custom Network it is becoming a E-League universe, sort of. Because, uh... Um... This pretty much only applies to one of our um, leagues, at least at the moment. And that is the hockey one, the CHF, the Custom Hockey Federation. That is the big one. That's one I've been running for. I've run, we're currently in season 13. And um, the E-League universe pretty much is just that one at the, this very moment. And the mo mostly because we have... CHF, CHFC, the, um, all the other hockey leagues that we just sim and that, that we don't really sim, but we want to name a champion to every single season. And we're coming up with an algorithm to, uh, like a way of figuring out who will win those, uh, the junior leagues and stuff every year. It's going to be a lot harder, but in the universe, that is a, Big thing, and it is finally something that is probably going to help us grow even more. So, yay! Then, um... <sighs> CHF, the Custom Hockey Federation. As I already talked about, I, I kind of briefly talked about it previously. That's what the, um... This is what is pretty much... The Elite Universe, the Custom Hockey Federation. This is the thing I've. This is pretty much my baby, as I've called it in the past. I put so much work into it that now there's. I have an Instagram channel for my the team I actually full on run. I also have a Twitter account for it. So, I think you can tell I like doing it, and I. I never really want to stop. Eventually, I probably will have to, but um, I ain't stopping yet. I'm having a blast with it. If you guys want to jump on with me, jump on the train. And, uh, well, I guess let's uh, talk about what's new with the CHF. Now... When the CHF entered Season 13, it welcomed six brand new teams into the into its fold. And, uh, well, we're um, kind of like last year. We're going to welcome them. We'll fully talk about them right now. Now, it's going to be slightly different. Last year, we had the colors. Yeah, this year, we don't have the colors. We got the logos. <laughs> slightly different. <laughs> So, uh, what are the six new teams? And I know you probably none of you probably care about this. Well, I do, so I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, we good. Okay, we good. Let's move on. Next, what is the first? What is one of the teams we have welcomed in the Oshawa Greyhounds into um, season thirteen? I think they're doing well so far. <laughs> I don't know, we're three, four weeks into season 13, and they're doing 
decent, I think. I don't know. For a brand new team, I feel like they they should be doing good. Wow. Where they are, they're in probably one of the hardest conferences. So. <laughs> well, actually, I can't say that. They're not in my conference. And my conference is by far the hardest because I pound everyone. So, <laughs> pretty much on a nightly basis. So, Oshawa, red, white, and that's pretty much it. That's the colors. That's the team. And, yeah. They will probably be sticking around for a while. <laughs> well, actually, I know they're sticking around for a while, and we'll get to that a little later on. So, other than them, is, well, this one's returning. The Ottawa Capitals are coming, are back in the CHF, back for season 13. They left a couple seasons ago. I know this logo did not come out that well. Oops. Anywho. Ottawa Capitals, I am excited this team is back. I moved it many seasons, a, a couple seasons ago. I never really wanted to, but I, I just didn't really like where the team was at. And after almost the entire length of the CHF, like, in its whole, and uh, we decided to go into Europe, and that caused this team to go... Poof, as I punch my mic. <laughs> so, it's back as we're in a 48-team league now. So, they're back. Welcome back, Ottawa. Same same cold colors as before. Red, white, blue. Black, not blue. Black. Hey, blue. <laughs> and you wouldn't know that the colors are the same. Yeah, I've never talked about this that much. So, <laughs> moving on from Ottawa to a very much brand new team, the Las Vegas Vipers. They are new. They are doing extremely well, all things considered. So, um, I think they're in the top 15 at the moment in the league. So, that's a pretty good start to the, to the season. And they have some pretty big changes coming, and we will get to that later on. And you know how I said some things, uh, there was something holding this back? Well, it was this, it was this. Um, I'm not going to lie, we ended up making a last-minute decision, and yeah, that affected this also. <laughs> so, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Oops. <laughs> uh, that's now pretty much finalized. Um, and so we're doing this before I change my mind on any anything else. So, welcome Las Vegas to the CA, the Custom Hockey Federation. And moving on to team, I do believe, number four. And that is the Cleveland Barons. This is the first time we've ever been in Cleveland. And uh, the Barons are the team. I would say they're doing good, but I have no idea where they are in the standings right now. They, I know they don't have a good, that good of a team, but um, yeah, some of the good team, uh, one of the, some of the good teams are that you would expect to be good. Um, yeah, not have the best of years, so I don't know where Cleveland is because of that. So. <laughs> We started the year with two of the strongest teams that literally bottom two. So uh, they've climbed rapidly, but I don't know where Cleveland is because of that. So, um, yeah. Cleveland, welcome to the league. And uh, they will, they're will they getting some major changes already. <laughs> so, <laughs> anywho. <sighs> and the next team... The Halifax Bolts. This will be the second time we're in. This is the second time we're in Halifax. They're not doing all that well right now. But uh, the Halifax Bolts, a team that's already making a name for themselves, even though they're not that good. They have quite the prospect pool already. Um, and, uh, well, they're quite fun to track. <laughs> so Halifax is, is back. As the Bolts, the last time they were in, they were the X's. I thought that wasn't the best of names, so I went with the Bolts this time. So, 
So, um, yeah, moving on from them. And going to another returning team, the Portland Wild. This one's been out so long. <laughs> Longer than Ottawa. Portland was one of the first teams we cut loose. I'm one to say it was... I'm going to say season nine, they were cut. Uh, just after that, I think they were cut. Um, so not a ridiculous amount of time, but longer than Ottawa. So Portland is back. They are as um, they're pretty much a meteor right now. They I don't know what's going on. I've already played them, and um, well, I slaughtered them, but I'm doing that to everyone. So eh. They, they could be good. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Portland is back. And they round out these six new teams. Which have caused us to also do a new a divisional realignment into eight divisions. Bring in Maple and Flake. And, uh, well. Maple and Flake. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <sighs> Eight divisions, it's making things a lot crazier. <laughs> we'll see that. But um it, it it allows our playoff format to be somewhat normal again. So that'll be fun. We're we haven't gotten a chance to test that yet because we have we're literally at the beginning of the season. <laughs> As I said, four weeks in, going into week five. So um Well by the time you're seeing this Week five would have probably already kicked uh, kicked out uh, in uh, in the door, so um, yeah. Other than that, we have some other news. <laughs> the stuff that caused us to be delayed. <laughs> the CHF is heading to NHL twenty four. Now I'm aware NHL twenty four literally well sort of out, but. It releases this week. So, um, yeah. Season 14 will be in NHL 24 plus some exhibition games during the length of season 13. This is something we have been working on, and this is why this was delayed. I had to have something about this in here, and there was, this is now mostly made of this. So, CHF NHL 24, it will, um... We will start pretty much plan building the team, create designing teams this week, and more info will be coming on that very shortly. But pretty much all the info that we need to get out there is here today. So let's bring you up to speed. What's going on with the next game and the next season? Now. This is by far the biggest change, and it's upping our custom player total by a lot, being that going into this previous game, we had, I want to say, around 300. Well, this game, 540. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the custom team system. We have had a custom team system in place for quite a while. Uh, I wanted to say season three, it really became a, like, a real thing, and when Frankfurt, uh, not Frankfurt, uh, Liverpool got granted entry, and they were the third custom team. Now, the four existing teams, those are staying custom teams. One of them's my team. I ain't changing that. So, um, we were also adding Las Vegas, Lethbridge, Manchester, and Hartford. This Hartford Lumberjacks, Manchester Lions. Leftbridge Oilers, and as you saw er earlier, Las Vegas Vipers. Those four teams will become custom teams and will bring back the thing of having a custom team in every division. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's why Las Vegas, very new team, are already getting a major change. Pretty much all the players they've had this season uh well they're not sticking around <laughs> so um yeah las vegas is getting new players along with lethbridge manchester and hartford 
and uh, some will be in a different way than than the others. Uh, we're putting a lot of work into the into the custom system this upcoming season, so uh, it's a good thing it's going to be season fourteen because. I think this would probably put me months, months behind. Because this is going to, it's going to take a while to set up. And, uh, yeah. It, it's, I'm not even ready to start building players yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Moving on from that. This is a big thing. Y uniforms. Now, one of the big things coming with season 14, we are also adding custom farm teams to... I think 16 of the teams um, because some of them this past season have had some really wacky really wacky farm teams so we are changing that this season with 16 custom farm teams they are gonna be fully unveiled uniform wise on October 13th on the CHF channel on YouTube plus Instagram and probably also Twitter so, um, yeah, those ones are probably the ones no one cares about. Then, um, comes the big ones. The ones that everyone will see when they play, when the games are streamed. Uniform Unveil Day for the main teams, October 16th. That is when everything will get announced for every team, any team that is getting a major rebrand. Yeah, I think we're currently sitting at 21 teams getting uh, redesigned for this next game. They will get all announced on that day. Some logo-wise, those might come prior, but uh, uniforms and stuff, that will come that day. So, fun time. Then, moving on. Along with uh, Season 14, and because we are bringing in four more custom teams, I thought this was a good idea. Import Draft is coming back the Import Draft for the custom teams. All eight teams will be involved in this draft. It is taking place October 10th, and every custom team will get players... No in that draft. They don't have to make selections with all their picks, but they can make they can get new players. And for the new teams, they will be getting getting using all their picks. So October 10th, import draft. Mark the date. If you don't care, well you don't care. I don't care either, but well I do care. <laughs> My team's involved in it. So import draft, October 10th, and that pretty much rounds out I think uh, the info for season 14 more info will be coming over the next little bit as I said earlier as we enter this next week things are going to start getting a lot more chaotic and that's why I'm literally at the end of a road for getting year and done so more info coming soon stick with us if you're if you want to follow this stuff Follow it on social at um at the custom network uh, or the Camelot Blazers. One of the two things. <laughs> so yeah, more info coming soon. And I knew it. Okay. We're gonna blow through this stuff probably pretty darn quickly. Custom League Baseball. This is our baseball league. We have been running this for I didn't even know how long. It's probably the shortest of them. Okay, it's not, but one of the shortest. Custom League Baseball. I'm running a team in this. It's not, the next season is not entirely ready. I'm still working on the teams. But there's still some news about it. So, oh, okay, we're heading into season three. <laughs> so, CLB, season three, we were. Quicker games, longer seasons. We have gone really short with the seasons, and uh, it has not really paid off. So uh, that's why it's kind of really not really hit that well. Um, so we are going to be doing it again. We're going to go.
go quicker. So, uh, yeah, quicker games, longer seasons. That is the motto for the CLB this next season. And, uh, well, there's more to go on about. We are bringing in a couple new teams, starting with Milwaukee. The Badgers are coming in. Wish I would have had something to kind of hint towards this. I probably should have known, but Milwaukee is coming in because we dropped a couple teams that um really didn't make that much sense. So Milwaukee getting a team that I really like sticking teams in Milwaukee now. I don't know why. <laughs> um, we're also sticking a team in Probably one of the dumbest places to stick a team. We are sticking a team in Arizona. Uh, might as well black out the stadium already. Arizona blackouts are coming and they will like, I think that's it. <laughs> yep. That is it. They will join tropical, uh, the tropical division and the North division in the Maple Conference. So... Yeah, that's the CLB for season three. That's gonna be fun. Yay! And then we have our brand new league. This one's ready to go. <laughs> this one's ready to go. We've been just waiting to make the official announcement. The CLS, Custom League Soccer. Now, I could've just Waited until FC24 came out. No, no, no. FIFA 23 is where we're running this one. So, uh, CLS. What's going on with this? <laughs> so, 29 teams. There is one custom team amongst this. That is how we could set it up. I don't know why it's the half CHF season 13. Ignore that. But, um... <laughs> and... It is my team, the Battalion FC, the custom team in the CLS. I'm pretty certain this abbreviation, I didn't check before putting it in. I'm pretty certain it's BFC. I, I can't remember. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just wanted to blow through that quickly. We don't have a start date for the CLS yet or CLB. CHF is kicking uh, in full full swing but that will do it for the custom network there's one more briefing to go and it's the big one i will see you in a second for the inner army one let's go okay as i said it is the hour the channel now this is what is coming this year the main stuff. This is what you guys will see on here this next over this next season, starting this next month. Wow, well, this month actually. So, welcome to the Nair in Nader Army Video Services Briefing of Year End Twenty Three. This is an exciting one. I've been me. I've been wanting to talk about some of the stuff we're talking about in here. For a while. But first things first. As you are aware. We're going out of our 10th season. And it's weird that we're doing a lot. In our 10th. In our 11th season. We're doing a lot more than we even did. In our 10th season. But it's pretty straightforward. We did very little in our 5th. We did a lot in our 6th. We did very little in our 10th. We're doing a lot in our 11th. So. What is going on in, in the Army Season 11? Uh, essentially starting tomorrow, Season 11 will kick. As soon as this uh, is over, Season 11 officially begins. And it will be go. All systems go. But not really all immediately because I'll be gone. But... <laughs> Pretty much as soon as I get back, we're gonna be back, baby! <laughs> so, um, first major thing. We have some new art. You guys have probably seen this because I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted it up. So we put the new art up. New banners, 
New, the old icon is back. The icon. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> the new banner sy symbolizes our history with our old motto being back on the banner. Now, will this be long term? I don't know. I like changing it that often. But, um, this is our banner. I'm excited about it. We have me and I proudly represented on the one corner. You don't use see that if you're usually on mobile. <laughs> so, it's useless. <laughs> but, uh, you do see the stay cool if you're on mobile. That's, that was a very uh, key part in designing this. So, um. We also designed it to the point that you can do that we're using it as a background for our computer uh, for the computers in, in the group now. I don't think I was doing it, but eh, I am. I haven't given her it, so it's kind of impossible for her to do that. So if she wants it, she could have it, but eh, yeah. Anywho, moving on. <laughs> Another big change. Speaking of me and I, we have some new crests. No, the the more icons, but uh, we left the circle design for this for pretty much everything years ago, like years and years ago. We didn't for me and I. No, me and I have constantly talked about changing hers because her old one really had conflicting interests now with. And that she has changed quite a bit. Um, so we uh, this was pretty much all me. I decided to build mine first. Then I was like, oh, I'm having fun with this. So I just built hers. And she actually, I really liked it. So yeah, new logos for me and I. Um, they will start circulation this year. Well, the G has already started circulation. It's on my social platforms. <laughs> so, the E, uh, yeah, we'll update that on her platforms. Platform. Eventually. <laughs> I need to get it to her. She has the login. <laughs> so, um, yeah, moving on from that. Versus Season 2. Well, here we go. What is going on with Versus? Well, it's coming back. Me and I have so much fun with this. Starting this month, it will return with new thumbnail, which without further ado, there it is. She, I don't think I've seen this. I can't remember if I've shown her it, but versus season two, and this will not be the only Splatoon thing we are doing this season. We will get to that in a little bit, but we are, I think, going to stick to our normal plan, two a month, not three. Three, I think, got a little hard, and I think that's why August ended up kind of falling through, being that we ended up too busy, and three takes a lot of time to film. Two takes... About an hour with the two of us, being that we have a lot of fun. But uh, like afterwards, we'll probably just hang out for like a couple more minutes. <laughs> we'll do a couple after that we never film. We just have fun. And then, sorry, we did three, and that got a little excessive. <laughs> so, back to our normal setup for season two of Versus. It is going to be fun. There's no crazy rules for this year. Like season two in Splatoon 2. We started with a really weird rule of you could only change weapons if you won. Well. We didn't really stick to that. So I feel like we wouldn't stick to it again. So there's no point in doing it. So uh, no rules. Same old way, season two. We don't have a date yet, but I feel like it will start this month. I, uh, uh, well, about probably about middle. Uh, would probably make sense. So, versus season two. Get excited, because it's going to be fun. Then, moving on. Oh, no, still versus. 
Round one, round two. These are these are the matches. Uh, matches one through six. Stick it to the same same format. It's worked. So if if you're curious what we're gonna be fighting on, pause, zoom in. I feel like you won't be able to read it, but this will be posted on social on our social platforms and probably on in our community tab here. So if you're curious. Look there or look here if you have really good eyes. So, <laughs> rounds one, rounds two, they're coming. We will finally dip our wa feet into the new maps in this that came out at the beginning of September. So, <laughs> anywho, moving on. Now, I said there was going to be more Splatoon stuff coming. I don't think I've told I about this. I had fun doing it that one time that we both did it together. So I'm doing it again. Splatoon 3 Online Battles. This will run on the same, on a similar system to Versus. It will be six matches a month. There will be one round a month. I'm, so you like one Splatoon, two Splatoon video, er, videos a month? Well, you get three. Get, get happy about that. And then the story mode will probably come back this month also. Well, probably not this month, but you know, we have some series that we want to start this month. So it probably won't come back this month. But uh, I think you get the point. Versus online, and online also has a thumbnail. Splatoon 3 online. This is going to be a fun year for Splatoon content. <laughs> And that and there's the expansion that's coming. So it's going to be a fun year for this stuff because we I, we really enjoy making Splatoon content here. And, well, more is coming. So, moving on from that. Yep. We got some aircraft SMP news for Season 2, Worlds Apart. Now... Originally, this would be the official announcement of Worlds Apart. Well, um, no. <laughs> yeah, that we've already done. I mean, that we've already started it. <laughs> so, and we're having so much fun with it. I know it's been a little bit, but we're we're having fun. We really like where we're going this season. What the plans are? Just we both took a little bit of a break, and this is the reason why I took a break. If it wasn't for this, I probably would have been streaming this past weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, fun. An aircraft, season two, worlds apart. Let's get some news out of the way. Event Ops is coming. If you saw episode one and you were wondering, what the heck is that all, those, all that smoke going up? Well, that's Event Ops. We are going to be running events over this season, and that will be where they are launched from. So, you might be wondering, what events do we have planned? Well, we don't have all of them really planned yet. Those are all of them that are planned so far, fully planned. We have Christmas Countdown, Super Spooky Halloween, The Maker, and Pirates Extravaganza. Not by the names. I feel like you can figure out which one's first. Yeah, it's super spooky Halloween. Halloween, that starts October 17th. And we will be built... I think the current game plan is a... A spooky village. I think this is the current plan. I am I have not run this by her yet. But I'm working on the planning of it. I have the... We have the hub pretty much done. So... Uh... It's a small hub. <laughs> it's a really small hub. It's, it's a graveyard. So it's fitting. <laughs> but um, events planned so far. The Christmas countdown. It's going to the, to the SMP. And that one is not yet planned. We have somewhat of an idea. But it might be too big of an idea for the two of us. Knowing how crazy December is already. But we're still working on that. But uh, before these even come out, we will have what we call data dumps and we will explain certain things about the events and what is to be expected during the events. Kind of like this, but it'll just be a slide and you guys will probably 
not see anything. So, moving on, as I said, a data dump is coming, event ops. You will learn more about the events this season, starting tomorrow. But there's one event we have a little short teaser. It is the expansion event, the Pirates Extravaganza. That is an area that I've told, pretty much told I stay here clear. <laughs> steer clear of the area as I, it is currently under construction. It is a pirate themed area as you know we, well, you don't know yet. This season has a theme. We have not, I have, we have not unveiled what the theme is yet. That is the next episode, whenever that releases. Uh, probably, well, I'll probably next week. Probably not. <laughs> but, um, Event Ops, our theme for that is, uh, Event Ops, uh, Data Dump will announce everything for the events and the plans for pretty much all of them, even the ones that aren't fully planned yet. Um, so, learn about that tomorrow. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Then, moving on. Starting this month, we have three new series kicking into action this month. We are going to be dip going into Star Starfield Sonic Frontiers and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Those will all start, not this week, but next week. Everything will kick into high gear with three new series this month. We are excited. I'm, I'm excited about this one. Zelda is completely thanks to I because she got that one for me. So, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a very exciting process to get three new series going this year. But, there's one more thing coming. Power Rankings is coming back! <laughs> I didn't say that as exciting as I should have, but Power Rankings are coming back. We are gonna be throwing everything at this this year. Everything but the kitchen sink, it would seem. We are going, we are currently actually working on one at this very moment. It is, um, Pixar. Yeah. Yeah, Pixar. Now, the awkward thing is, we already did a Pixar one. Now, that was a while ago. <laughs> now, I was the only one that did that. I never took part in that. So this time, the two of us are going to rank the Pixar films together. There has been a decent amount since the last time we did it, so we're going to rate them again. Um, and she never rated them with me, so that will probably add a bit more fun to it. So, excitement! Woohoo! <laughs> so, that one we're currently working on, I don't, I can't really give it general idea because ranking Pixar film ranking films it's a very very annoying process because you have to, if you haven't watched any you have to watch them yeah we're, that's a, pretty much what we're doing at the process we're in right now so it's in very early stages but uh it won't be in early stages for all that much longer so that will conclude the briefings. We now go back to the main stage and pretty much round this out. Now, before we hit the head back to the main stage, I did say we had a teaser. I forgot to play it. So, here's a teaser for the Pirates Extravaganza of Season 2. I'm not going to talk about it afterwards, so. This is literally just a teaser. It's not really a plan yet, so there's nothing really to say, so. But it's under construction, and that's all you guys really need to know. So, roll it!
Okay, so all back to normal. Everything has been announced for this next season. Except for a couple things. And that we will get to in a little bit. Being that we don't need to be talking about any of that. Not right now, at least. So, <sighs> this is the time and place of year-end that we look back on our previous year as we end out the pre this season. We end out our historic season, our 10th season. Now, and we end into, uh, head into our 11th. It will be an exciting time for us this next year. A lot will be happening as you just found out. Now, what happened this past year? That is the past. Now, we know this year was not that well. <laughs> we should we know this did not go that well. We had some rough patches this year. Especially at the end. Um so the road is looking up for us and I think we will have a very bright year this year and a very good year. It will be a fun year for us no matter what. We have so much we're wanting to do. And if we stick to it, I think it will be a very, very successful year for us. And, um, I'm excited. I know I's excited. And it is going to be a fun year. We have so much in store. 10 wasn't that good. 5 wasn't that good either. So, it's pretty much just becoming a thing. Hopefully when we do 15 five years, so uh, hopefully that's better. <laughs> and then when we do 20, eh, might as well just call it a, If we do badly with the 15th, we might as well not even bother with the 20th. <laughs> so, um, with that, this is year end. And uh, this past year was not great. Me out of everyone. I know that I I'm the one that really needs to take responsibility for that, that this year ended up being kind of crappy <laughs> in any, um, any, uh, nice way of putting it. Um, I have like many roadblocks this year and, I think we're heading into a time that, yes, there will be a major roadblock coming up this year. I can't talk about what that is yet. But, um, hopefully it won't be as big of a roadblock that I'm thinking it will be. But, um, no matter what, this will be a fun year. And this will be a very action-packed year. And if everything sticks to plan... It should be one of our best years yet. And it will be fun to share these memories with my close friend. I and share them all with you guys. It will be a fun year. We're going to pull out all the stops like it, we were supposed to for our 10th. In aircraft SMP, that will be the at the forefront of everything we do this season. I think that's very obvious with the events plan and event op system. It will be a fun year. I hope you stick with us. And, uh, yeah. It is time to unveil next season. I don't have it on me at the moment. I need to go grab it. So we're going to quickly cut. I'm going to go grab the ban new banner. And try and remember the name because I, I cannot remember the, what we're calling this season. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I will see you in a sec. And uh, we will round out this year. Okay, I have the banner. You can't see it, but I have the banner. No, it's not the first thing. That's why I don't have it out. <laughs> um, 
I just had to have it on me. We now get rid of that. Now, last time we were here, this was a really annoying process. We, and I think I prob I'm pretty certain I said afterwards, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Well, I'm doing it again. <laughs> but this time we're a lot smarter. That's why this is a lot more... This part down here is a lot more... Bulkier. <laughs> a lot more covered. So, um, it's not just going to go down and then I have to worry about it later. It's going to be... Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, you <year> and banner. <laughs> so... This has been a whirlwind of a year, as I said prior in the last part. We enter, we exit season 10 and enter season 11. <sighs> With hope of having a really, really good year. <laughs> so well, Goodbye, season 10. That did not work. Hmm, that did not work at all. <laughs> oh. Of course it didn't work. <laughs> okay, well, that... Yep, as per usual, something goes wrong. <laughs> I didn't put torches. <laughs> I was being to put torches and I didn't put torches. Great job. <laughs> Great job. Yep, that sounds about right for us. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> yep, this seems about right. Yep, there we go. That did it. <laughs> I'm just pick up all this. <laughs> well, I feel like that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> yep, and once again, I'm gonna say I am never doing that again. <laughs> Welcome to season 11, the year of the ignition. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> yep, I feel like that could have gone a lot worse. But for us, as per usual. <laughs> Welcome to season 11. And now, the usual thing that we do at every single one. We put the actual banner up there. as we officially round out season 11. As, as we round out season 10, the golden age, and come into season 11, the, the year of ignition. That is 11 seasons up there. What will happen this season? Well, you know some of it. What will happen beyond that? We don't know. Now, it's officially season 11. It is now officially the year of ignition. So, <laughs> uh, first order of business, Game and Air of the Year. We are still doing it. We didn't really do it this year, but we're just still doing it. Uh, voting is going to commence immediately after this video. So, <laughs> uh, voting starts. So, if you want to vote for me, pretty much me or I, go ahead. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, game year of the year. We're pretty much it. You can vote for pretty much anyone here. <laughs> so, but, uh, good luck. <laughs> It'd be weird handing it out to any of them. They're not a part of this no more. So... Uh, welcome to season 11, and without further ado, I think, I think we should show where will season 11 end? Where is year end 24 going? Well, here's the cliffhanger part. Well, we know 
It's not built. It's not even planned. We know exactly where it's going. This town it's in isn't even really built. <laughs> the only thing next to it that's built is a farmhouse. Now, Ty, that's a, a immediately give, immediate giveaway because that's her house. <laughs> it's right next to her house. <laughs> Uh, it'd be nice to involve her in it next year, but uh, probably not. She's never involved in this. <laughs> but um, even though she's in, she has the game now. We could easily involve involve the, bo both of us, involve both of us in uh, uh, the making of this. But probably not. That will probably never happen. <laughs> I say that, and then next year we're both gonna be in this. So <laughs> So, you're in 24 is being hosted in Slide Town. The uh villi the village that will be built there, that is not even as as any broken ground yet. We know where we've pretty much cleared out the area for the year end building, but uh yeah we haven't started anything. But uh yeah we are gonna be starting that pretty soon, and that will be time lapse, so you guys will know where we are going. So, excitement, that is coming. Let's show you a, a quick trailer. That's not really a trailer, a place to show, but uh, you guys probably need to know and not be describing it. So, here's where year end is going. <laughs> That's where year end 24 was going. Right there. <sighs> yep. So that will be fun. Hopefully we do that one on time next year. <laughs> uh, so. Now it's time to bring this, bring year end to a close. It has been a absolute blast this year, even though it wasn't that good of one. It has still been a blast. I hope this next year is a lot better than this year. I think that's all we can even ask for. But, uh, um, who knows? For us, we are very, a very, um, different group. We don't really stick to our plans, pretty much ever. <laughs> so, as the lights go out on the stage, so does the light fade, so does the light so does it fade for season 10 and as it glows for season 11 I'm Game Near 5 from the Anarmy team I hope to see you all in season 11 in the year of ignition when we start it next pretty much next week so hope you all are excited for what we have in store for this year and with that, good bye.
Okay, so welcome to the after show of, well, year end 23. Um, right now we're just pretty much gonna recap what happened <laughs> during year end, and that was quite a lot. So sit back, relax, or if you're wanting to click off, just click off. It's not necessary to watch this part entirely. I feel like I'm going to regret saying that, but hey, welcome to the after show of uh, the very much delayed year end 23 historics as we are now in our 11th season, the year of ignition. <laughs> Anywho, welcome to season 11 and as you would have heard in the actual main show, there is a lot coming this season. And it is going to be an exciting year if we get it all done. We have some stuff that we're all reworking on. Some things yet to actually get um, fully started. It, no matter what, it will be a lot of fun this season. And hopefully we will be more... um on top of it this season. That is by far the goal that we are will that we will be more on top of everything this year. I don't know how successful we will be at doing that, but <laughs> being that uh our, over the co course of our history uh we haven't been the most consistent. But um hopefully this year it will be different. And uh we have a lot that we're planning for this year, as you um would have already known, we have the three new series starting this month in Starfield, Zelda, and Sonic. We have those starting this month. We have um we have Power Ranking coming back. We're currently working on that. Then more stuff getting worked on behind the scenes, like stuff on this server plus other stuff everywhere else so this year gonna be quite a nuts year it's gonna be fun it's gonna be amazing going into season 11 as we ramp th as we will ramp things up for next summer and uh hopefully be on time for year end at i think we're gonna call i think currently the year end 24 locations like set name we don't have a name for the building yet as it's not even built yet um but i think it's being uh, nicknamed the fishbowl by a con uh, or i brain uh, brainstorming of the building so uh that'll be fun to start i'm um, getting done pretty much probably any week now we'll start building the next next one of these so <laughs> That'll be fun. But um, beyond that, look forward to this year. We have a lot that we're going to be doing, and uh, I think it will be a lot of fun. And if you guys stick with us, stick with us, because it's going to be a fun, fun year. And uh, so without that, without with, with that, let's... Leave year in behind us and let's go into October and hit the year of ignition at full force. Let's roll into next season starting now. That after show this year, not that big. Pre show this year, not that big. But I don't think we really have to go in depth. Things are starting very soon. You guys are going to have a lot from us coming in a very short amount of time. So with that, I'm calling it a day. And uh, this will, uh, all this will now get transformed back to normal. And with that, guys, I'm Game Near 5 from the Nerm team signing off. And good bye!